Hey everyone, Desiree here. So in this video, I'm going to give you my full-on opinion review of the Erin Condren On The Go Folio. Now, if you saw my Black Friday unboxing, I kind of, kind of did a little bit of talking about this, although I didn't go into too much detail because I wanted to actually set it up and kind of sit with it for a few days before I formed an opinion. But uh, at this point, I think I do know as much as I need to know as far as um, the details about this this particular, I guess, planner um, and what it's supposed to be and how it's supposed to work. So again, this is the Erin Condren On The Go Folio. It is her version of what I would call a traveler's notebook. Um, you get... Well, I mean, you, it doesn't all come together. You have to buy it separately. You get a cover, and then you get the, um, I think she calls them petite planners, which in Traveler's Notebook land, we would call them inserts. Now, she also offers a customization on the cover, so if you wanted to get, I guess, your name or something, um, would it be embossed on there? You could do that. Um, it says you can mix and match your favorite petite planners or petite journals. This is a must-have accessory, transports up to four for on-the-go organization. And then this is the back of the little information card in case you were curious. Now, she only offers this in one size, which is what uh, most of us would consider an A5 size, which is totally fine with me because... Uh, that size is my jam along with the standard and the B6 size. So I'm really cool with that because this is the size I actually use. Now let's go ahead and start off with uh, the cover. Now, this is not a real leather cover. Although it feels very, very soft and flexible, it to me feels like some type of a... Um, like a faux leather or even like a, um, a flexible vinyl or something. Uh, it's got brown elastics and I can't remember what color. I think this is like the charcoal or something like that. It's got, at least I think this is brown. Now I'm thinking it might be like a charcoal gray or black. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. But, um... The elastic comes out of the spine, and then it has this little snap here, which I don't particularly care for. Um, I find that it, I think it's supposed to be decorative, but I, I found that it kind of got in the way. And then this is the back here, and you can see she's got her uh, name embossed on the back. So let's go ahead and see how this looks on the inside. Now I have four of the Erin Condren, I think they're called petite journals inside. And let me start off by saying, while they do fit, I don't, I don't think they, I don't think they did the sizing properly because you can see right here, the books come either right to the edge or they slide down past the edge. And then at the top, you have a little bit here, but then when you try to slide it to adjust it, again, you're right up to the edge. And I prefer to have a little bit more space. I don't like my books coming to the edge down, down here or here. Now, it's made to hold four of these books. So I have the, what are these? The uh, 2019 Daily Planners in here and you know they fit okay there's no issue with that the only thing is I just don't like the way the cover feels um, and I hate to say cheap but I don't I don't know any other <laughs> any other word for it um, I don't feel like this cover is durable enough to protect all of these books on an everyday basis, especially if you're if you're using this on the daily. Um, the other thing I don't like is that it doesn't seem to hold its shape very well. 
Um, you can see here, like, I mean, the books are in there. They're not going to come out, but um, it just doesn't. It it just doesn't mold well to the inserts. At least not. Not um, that would be my preference is to have the cover kind of mold to the inserts, and they don't. And then I can feel like when I have this closed, I can feel a lot of space here, like the inserts are not pushed fully up against the spine. So, um, uh, honestly, for me, you guys, I'm going to say the cover, I, I, I would not um, spend the money for this cover. However, these inserts are amazing. I think Erin Condren should stick to what she does best, which are, you know, the actual paper planners and not venture off into, you know, quote, traveler's notebook land because a lot of us who are diehard TN users, we have our preferences. We know what we like. We know good quality when we see it. And this does not deliver that. It just does not. Like I said, I don't think it's durable. I don't think the sizing is correct because of the way the books slide out of the bottom or the top. And then I don't think that this material is durable and I just don't think the cover holds its shape. Not for, not for these books. Uh, my other thing is I don't like how when you have it closed, how this kind of just bends in like that. I just, I don't know, it's just it's just not durable or sturdy enough. Okay, let's get back to the inserts though. However, these inserts are amazing. Petite Planner Daily Insert Volume 1. The paper quality on this is outstanding. And it has everything that we know and love from Erin Condren. We've got the colorful month on two two page layout here. And then... She gives you an entire page for one day. I love that. That is probably my favorite thing about these inserts is just the way they're laid out. They're colorful, they're not boring. I didn't have to print them myself. And you've got plenty of room to write down anything. You've got a checklist. You've got empty spaces here that are not labeled so I can decide what I'm gonna put in You know, each um, little box. I have plenty of room to decorate. I have stickers. I love these inserts. So if you're going to spend your money on these, I definitely suggest spending the money on the inserts and not the cover. And I just noticed here you get Saturday and Sunday on one day, but that's okay. And then she has a little quote here. I mean, these are just these are just amazing. Then when you get to the end, you have a couple of notes pages, and then you have a little pretty quote here, and then you get you get some stickers in a little back pocket here. Love it. Love, love, love the inserts. So I know a lot of you were considering and asking me whether or not I thought this was a great deal. I do think the inserts are worth the money. I bought them on Black Friday, and I want to say... I think I paid around seven or eight dollars for each one, which I think is totally a right on target price. Um, even if I had to pay, say, roughly ten dollars for one, I still think it would be worth it. However, I would not invest in the cover. Um, hopefully, if she continues to do these, she will improve the quality and the the workmanship of the cover. Or she, in my opinion, I think she should just ditch the cover altogether and just focus on making these fantastic, awesome, wonderful A++ inserts. Now, um, oops, let me, I forgot to show you that you do get one of these cute little drawstring bags when you buy the folio. So you can keep all of your stuff in here and I think that's a really good deal. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to add about these. Um, like I said, I'm prob well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm probably going to take these out of here, and I think I'm going to put them in my 
one of my mystics little gifts uh, a5 traveler's notebooks just because I think it's gonna be it's gonna work better for me and then when I get that set up I will definitely show you guys how I'm using it and if you didn't see my unboxing video I did buy some more of the inserts I got the budget health and wellness goal setting and then this one is the monthly. So this one doesn't have any weeks, it's just the month on two pages. And then it goes into notes in the back. But again, you guys, I mean, her work on these inserts is amazing. I I really, really love it. The only thing is I wish she made these these in different sizes so I can use it in my other traveler's notebooks. But anyways, so those are my thoughts on the Erin Condren uh, On The Go Folio. If you have any questions about anything, feel free to drop those down in the comments below. And if you're not subscribed, please make sure you do so because I do have more videos coming. And I think that's it. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. We'll definitely see you in the next video. Bye.